One of the largest and most popular national parks in America is Joshua Tree in Southern California. The park receives around 3 million visitors annually and is the closest national park to Los Angeles and San Diego. Joshua Tree was first established as a national monument in 1936. Later, as part of the 1994 Desert Protection Bill, Joshua Tree was elevated to national park status. The central feature of the park are the namesake Joshua trees, which grow almost exclusively in the Mojave Desert. The name may have come from the Mormon settlers who thought the trees resembled a man with outstretched arms. There are three main entrances to the park, one to the south and two to the north. The park has 93 miles of paved roads and 106 miles of unpaved roads, nine campgrounds with 523 campsites, two horse camps, and 10 picnic areas with 38 picnic sites. There are 32 trailheads and 191 miles of hiking trails throughout the park. The area is massive and it takes an hour to pass through the park, even by the fastest route. In the heart of the park, you'll find some incredible but often congested sites. The park is always busy with tourists, so if you're looking to get off the beaten path, trails like Ryan Mountain and Lost Horse Mine are great escapes from people looking only to make social media posts. That being said, the next few places, while popular, are also highlights. Keys View Overlook is a must-see. At 5,185 feet, this overlook gives expansive views of the neighboring mountain ranges, Imperial Valley, and Salton Sea. Similarly named Keys Ranch displays ruins of an early settlement. The ranch contains several buildings, rusty cars, and abandoned machinery. Some of the least traveled but best short hikes are those to a desert oasis. Several of these lush green pockets pop up in secluded areas. 49 Palms Oasis and Lost Palms Oasis are the easiest to experience and can be a welcome escape from people and harsh sun, but remember that all hikes in this environment require water. Other than Joshua trees, the other major natural feature of the park are the rock formations. Unlike rocks found elsewhere, these resemble piles of boulders. This terrain is sought after by climbers who use the odd formations and gritty textures for training and short ascents. Frequented areas include Jumbo Rocks and White Tank. Barker Dam is another great alternative, and after rains, a small lake forms amongst the boulders. These areas fill up quickly and have limited parking, but almost every trail in this section of the park has boulders, so there is no shortage of ways to explore these formations. Lastly, along the road to the southern entrance, the Akateo Patch and Choya Cactus Gardens grant access to short trails where you can explore two cactus varieties. Joshua Tree provides a habitat for 813 plant species, 46 reptiles, 57 mammals, and over 250 varieties of birds. Being that it's the closest national park to so much of Southern California, Joshua Tree has become a mecca for outdoors enthusiasts and weekend trips. Weekdays and off-season visits are recommended, but whenever you go, the natural environment is worth the hassle of getting there.